Hey everybody and welcome. In this video, we are going to do the UVW unwrap for the chair that we modeled in the previous video. So if you want to see how this chair was modeled, check out the previous video. All right, so before I do anything else, uh, for this video, I'm actually going to stick just in 3ds Max for the entire duration of the UVW unwrap. And just so I make it easier for me, I'm actually going to go ahead and download Text Tools. Now, Text Tools is a really uh, nifty uh, script that you can get from either ScriptSpot or Render uh, HJS. So basically, the way to do it is simply go to Google, write down Text Tools. And you're going to get it. It's either the first or the second uh, link. The first one is uh, directly from mm, the site. It's a free script and it's one of the oldest, oldest and let, let's say almost the best script you can get for UVW Unwrap. So I'm going to close this. And once you download it and install it, you can simply put a um, button over here so you have quick access and once you click it you're going to get this little guy floating around on your screen but for now i'm going to close it and let's take a look at our model unwrapping this model is going to be is going to take the same amount or the same approach that we did that when we were modeling it namely we're going to unwrap it one piece at a time so i'm going to start off with the leg so I'm going to select one of my legs and isolate it. So Alt Q to isolate it. Now, before I do any of my unwrapping, I always tend to go in the modifier list and go down to scroll down to U, and you have this UVW mapping clear. Now this is going to clear out any unwrapping you might have had on your uh, model while you were making it. So you start off with a clean slate. The next thing that I'm going to do is slap on a unwrap UVW modifier. Again, you can get it from modifier list or I can just click here because I have it uh, in my quick access slot. The moment you do that, you're going to notice that over here I have this green line, which is my seam. And that seam will always appear wherever you have an open edge. Now, in my model, I have all of the edges closed, so that's the only one that's open, so that's why that's the only one that's green. Now, since I want to cut up this 3D piece into a 2D shape so I can apply a 2D texture to it, I need to uh, approach it logically. Now, that means that I'm going to take a look at all of the shapes that I have for this leg, and I can see that this portion over here I can actually cut it as an uh, individual piece. So I'm going to go down here. And when you're selecting edges, it's a good idea to change the display over here to thin. So you have a better understanding of what you've selected. So once I have this, I'm going to click on uh, the loop. And then click on this button over here where it says convert edge to uh, selection to seams. That is going to make that uh, edge as a blue line. Now that blue line means that this is actually a seam, but it still hasn't been detached from the rest. But that's not a big problem at the moment, so let's continue doing the rest. And we'll get back to it in a moment. So what I want to do is now go ahead and cut out the bottoms uh, of the uh, legs here. So select that one, hit again loop, and convert edge to selection to seams. Select the other one, again, loop, selection to seams. And now, let's take a look at our reference image. If we take a look at the chair or the original, what you're going to notice is once it gets to about this point over here, this is where both of these cylinders or these legs converge and basically meld into one not a very very visible uh hint but if you take a look at here you can actually see that division that means that we can use this in this phase of the texturing so we can basically make the cut over here that is going to make it easier for us to unwrap this so let's proceed to doing that so select the middle edge over here hit the loop Make sure you don't uh, select 
uh, these edges over here because we don't want to cut out on the top cap. Hold on, uh, Alt, deselect those as well. And now hit the convert edge selection to seams. Again, we have the blue line. And now what I want to do here is basically cut out uh one line coming from here to the bottom so that we have a way to unwrap this cylinder so the way that i'm going to do this is i can either go here select the loop but that is going to mean that this loop is going to go all over uh our the external side of this leg and i don't want that so what i'm going to do here is deselect and hit the point to point seams so point to point seams works. So I'm going to click over here and I'll get to the bottom. And at the bottom, just click here. I just need to make sure that it's the same line, which it is. If that is the same line. We're going to see that it goes all the way to the floor. Now we're going to say do the same thing for this piece over here. So click there, down to there. And now we have that edge going all the way down. Awesome. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my UV editor. Awesome. Here we go. As you can see at the moment, it's all a bit of a garble. So not really something we can use. So let's start cutting it out and separating it. So as we previously saw, this is a blue line that we get whenever we convert the selection to an edge. So what that line allows me to do now is select one of my uh, points over here. And I can click this button, expand polygon selection to seams. It's going to select everything within those lines. And now what I'm going to do here is hit the quick peel button. What this is going to do is going to take that line that we had the blue line now converted to a green line what that green line means is that uh, this piece has been separated from uh, this uh, piece over here it's not it's no longer attached to it so now we can continue with the rest of it so i'm going to select the bottom here as well expand quick peel put it up Select the bottom, again, quick peel, put it over here. All right, now comes the tricky part. If I select this uh, point over here, or any of these uh, polygons, and now expand my uh, polygon selection, you're gonna see that I only get half of it, which is good. But if I go ahead and quick peel this as it is, you're gonna see it's gonna come up a bit of a weird shape which is not really what we want. But let's just for now, let's take both of them and take them like this. Now here's the thing. Since this is a wood, it really wouldn't be a problem even if we uh, leave it off like this because wood is not really uh, visible when you have stretching like this. But since we want to make this proper, we're going to continue and clean this up so we have a clean result. Now for this, I'm going to select these edges. So I'm going to try to separate the cylinder from this top part. So that means I'm going to select these guys like that, hit the loop, and that is going to make a nice circle around the whole thing. Convert edge to selection to seams. And now select just the bottom here, the cylinder. And when you now when you click on the quick peel, you're gonna get a nice rounded off cylinder. We're gonna do the same thing over here, peel. At the moment, you're, what you're gonna notice is that a lot of these pieces really don't have the same uh, size, which is not a big problem at the moment. I'm going to click here, which is uh, select element UV toggle. That means whenever you select anything or any polygon, it's going to select the whole uh, thing. I just did this, this so I can quick peel these guys as well. It's going, the quick peel basically uh, gives it a pelt map with a relax. All right, so I'm going to move this to the side. 
Now, how do we get all of this to play nice with each other and not really give us this problem? So first of all, I'm going to click on rescale elements and then I'm going to pack them so it's in here like so. Now, to make it so it's easier to control, I'm start, going to start using the text tools. So I'm going to click here and this is going to open up like that. Now, since this piece kind of seamlessly continues over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to select this edge like so, as we can see over here. And now I want to relax it. So I'm going to click on relax. In a second, we're going to get this kind of an effect, which is not really what I want. So I'm going to control Z back. Okay. All right. All right. Again, pack them together. And now I'm going to deselect my element toggle. Double click here on the edges. And this is going to make that selection. Now, what this is going to allow me, if I take a look at uh, this piece, I'm going to see that this part, which is the top one, is blue when I select the red one. That means that this edge over here is adjacent to this one, which in turn will allow me, if I want to, basically stitch them together like that. And now what you can see is that this is all one piece, but we have this problem here. Now, the geometry here is really, really dense. And that's something that's ideal for us. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and select all of these vertices like that, as so. And here we have this option, Relax. Now, Relax, when I, uh, when I ha click Relax with uh, this selection, is going to take what I have selected and try to relax the tension between that. As you can see, if I press it multiple times, we no longer have overlapping vertices. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side as well. So double click. You can see that it uh, corresponds with this. Stitch it together. Select all of these vertices that are here. And I want to average out the distance between all of them. So I'm just going to click on the relax. That is going to help me get through that issue. All right. So with that, I'm just going to select everything now all of them, rescale elements, and pack them together custom like so. All right, that means that our leg is more or less unwrapped. So we can continue on to the rest of the elements. Next thing that we're gonna unwrap is the back seat over here or the back rest. I'm going to isolate this. And again, this is not very hard to unwrap, but first I'm going to put a UVW uh, mapping and clear on top of it and unwrap UVW. All right, so select my edges, make sure it's a thin one where I want to cut. That's fine there. And one more over here. Convert edge to seams after we um, loop it. And since this is all just one big cylinder, what we can do here is basically go at the bottom, select one of these edges, loop it, and then deselect the edges that we don't uh, need. As so, there we go. All right, so. Select the corner pieces, quick peel, put it to the side, quick peel, put this thing to the, to the side. Or not. All right, so move this thing outwards. There we go. And now for this one, what I'm going to do here is try to hit the quick peel and there we go like this so with this i might want to try and relax this but since it has a lot of curves i'm pretty sure that the relax might go terribly wrong but we'll see in a second once the polygons start 
relaxing. We'll see the end result of this thing. And one of the main reasons why I detest doing UV unwrapping in Max is that when it gets to unwrapping at this stage, sometimes it tends to be terribly, terribly slow. All right, so I'm gonna stop relax and apply this. Now, like I said previously, since this is wood, you can even uh, get away with stuff like this. So you, even with this uh, overlap, you can get away. But since we're trying to make this so it's pretty as well as functional, we're again going to use the text tools. So the same uh, approach that we did previously, select the vertices that are making, giving you a bit of a problem like this. Make sure you deselect the element thing. Select all of these uh, vertices, basically wherever you have a bit of a garble, and hit the relax. This is going to try to relax it to a state where it's uh, not overlapping. If that doesn't work, we can try with the iron. All right, let's try it one more time. Uh, no, the iron is giving me a really, really bad look. All right, so again. Ah, nope, wrong button. Not the iron, but relax. All right, fix that issue. There we go. You just have to press it multiple times because every time is going to take a bit of a step. So relax again. There you go. You have to just incrementally go and do it one by one. And it kind of has a point to which vertices you've selected. So if you go a few times, it's going to get a different result and slowly going to relax it out. So again, relax. There we go. All right, so for this, now the bottom one. One more time. And as you can see, this thing is starting to get unwrapped slowly but surely. All right, now the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to take it as it is at the moment select all, both of them, rescale them, and pack them so they custom packed inside. All right, and the isolate. And let's just do the last piece. And for the seat, it's, this is actually gonna be really easy to do it. Just select the bottom here, uh, make one loop. Convert it to a seam. And basically go over here, select uh, that edge up to there, one on the other side as well. So again, up to there. And there we go, like so. And make it into a seam. Now with both of these, I'm going to select the bottom here, open it up, and make it into a quick peel. The top here, again, quick peel. As you can see, both of them are looking just not, uh, just good. Everything is fine. And more or less, we have unwrapped uh, all of these three elements. Now, I don't want to do the leg all over again so I'm going to delete this one hold on shift and basically copy out the one that has the UVW uh, unwrap just make sure you put it so it's there we go if you want to have it exactly where the original was what you can do is before you delete it you can just uh, copy this and then uh, use the align tool and basically make it be in the same spot so now that we have this, I'm going to select all of my elements, even though they're uh, one, two, three, four elements. And I'm going to put another unwrap on top of all of them. 
Now, once I open this UV editor, what you're going to notice is a bit of an issue. We have a lot of overlapping edges or overlapping faces. So once we have all of this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on rescale elements. Now, what this uh, is going to do is going to give every piece of uh, geometry in this model an exact same amount of textile space. Textile space means how much texture is going to be taking in our final texture resolution. So once we click on that rescale, we can click on pack custom. This is going to pack all of those uh, geometry pieces in uh, our uh, one zero to one space. But as you can see, we have a lot of unused space. And this is definitely not uh, how I would do this for a final uh, version. So we might want to spend some time to tweak it around, get all of these pieces uh, better uh, aligned or better distributed around our texture so we can uh, get as much texture space as we can out of this uh, model. But for now, we basically have a model that has been unwrapped. And if I go ahead and add a texture to it, so I just, I'm going to use this little texture. If you take a look at the sides, we can see exactly where our edge is over here. And just like on the original, we can see that it kind of melts at around this point. And since we made these pieces over here and this one on this side to basically fold or on itself and uh, stitch them together, we no longer have that cut that we made over here. And here's the interesting part. If we just copy this on from the one side to the other without adding in the extra unwrap UVW that we just added for the whole thing, these both of these legs would have had the same exact texture with, which would have br uh, broken the illusion that this is actually a CG model. But since it's no longer using the same exact look or the same exact UV uh, space. You can see that even the legs, even though they have the same unwrap, they have a different texture for the left and the right, which in turn is going to give us a nice look. And if you want to have a different uh, way of this wood following, you can either go in in the unwrap, select uh, the chair and then simply rotate this around for like 90 degrees so and there you have now you have this thing going the other way around and another way would be if you want to go and change the heading for the whole thing what you can do is go over here in the texture and rotate it in the uh, w for 90 degrees but what that is going to do is going to change the headway for all of the texture which is not something we want it's going to go back and with this we basically have our chair uvw unwrapped so i hope you guys had fun and you managed to learn something new in this video if you do have any questions leave them below and i will meet you in the comment section of the video if you joined the video then please click the like button and if you're not subscribed now is a great time to do so as always thank you very much for watching and i will see you all in the next video Bye-bye.